Good Hello. evening to everybody in the chat. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Um, so what are we going to talk about tonight, boys? Anything happen? <laughs> Mm, I wonder. I wonder. It's pretty not, quiet, isn't it? Not, not a lot's happening. <laughs> what a what a week! What a week, eh? What a bloody yeah! Week. I mean, yeah, it's all sort of happened in the last. Well, the rumours come out yesterday, didn't it? Last twenty four hours about the the two players that left the club, Haller and Snodgrass. But I think the main one everyone wants to talk about, and I know you two are eager to talk about, is Robert <laughs> Snodgrass. So let's get straight into it. <laughs> Let, before we get into anything about Haller, because the Snodgrass departure might go a little bit unnoticed because of the Haller departure. So I, I don't, think, I don't the think it will. I, I, I think that, do you know what? You always know, not only as signs of a good player, but as a good person when they leave a football club. And I, I've not seen anyone say a bad word about Robert yeah. Snodgrass. And that goes for when he left Hull, when he left Leeds. Whenever he goes back to these clubs, they've always got a good word to say about him. And he's just, he's just an all-round great bloke and a great professional as well. And I, I'm sad to see him go, but I, I, I understand why he has left the club. Of course, he's, he's, he's getting on a little bit. He's 33 years old. He's got to get some regular football. He could probably do a job for Big Sam over there at, at West Brom. I mean, they look at, in, at sixes and sevens at times, you know what I mean? Like, but <laughs> They're conceding sixes and sevens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. But it's, you know, you've got to have a look at, what he bought to the club. And it weren't just, you know, about footballers. And I've said this so many times. It's not just about, you know, getting the player in. It's getting the person in who fits into the to, to the um, to the dressing rooms. He was a positive influence in the dressing room. He, he, you know, he was always up for a bit of banter. One of the funniest blokes. He connected with the fans. And I think he's one of the people that, you know, uh, he connects with the fans. Nobody's ever had a bad word to say about him. He's he's donated so much to charity. I know he's been in contact with charities and stuff when people have been raising money for people. And he's an all-round good person. He's an all-round good bloke. And he, he will be fondly remembered at West Ham. And I tell you what, uh, you've got to give him full respect here because the the Sullivan completely mugged him off, yep. and he still, you know, he didn't try and force a transfer. He didn't, you know, throw his toys. He kept his head down and carried on playing. You know, even though you can tell his nose was put out of joint, he tweeted about it. So fair play to him. It shows that he, you know, what a classy guy he is, and what a lack of class Sullivan has. You know, I think I think one of my funniest favourite videos of Robert Snodgrass was the one when Aaron Creswell cut his hair. And him and Andy Carroll, I think that was one that, and they they faded his hair, didn't they? And they fucked it up, and he couldn't see it properly. And the panic in Snodgrass's face, like to to think of a professional football player on all that money, and he's got Creswell cutting his hair for him, and it was just like he he just comes across as such a nice bloke. And as you said, he's done so much for charities since he's been at the club. He done them auctions. He done a lot for Isla Caton as well, which you know he done off his own back. He, he flew to Barcelona with Mark Noble. To, to see us, so yeah, he's just a he's just an all round great bloke, and I, I wish him well at West Brom. I you know what? Because the thing is, I don't think unless it was you know a decent bit of money, you know, a good you know few million, I, I think we should have tried to at least keep him till the summer because we've got an FA Cup coming up. I think he would have got games, and I, I think he is still a good player. Like, I still I think, think he's I, a good yeah, one. I think, I think per personally, yeah, I would like to see him stay because I'm. I'm with you, I think he still had a lot to offer, but you can understand that his stage of life and his career's slowly coming to an end. You know, he's got a few seasons left, and he, he wants to play. And you can't you, you can't criticise him for that. Every, every player that is a football player wants to play football. Just quickly though, before we do move on, Sebastian, do you think Snodgrass leaving might pave the way for Anderson to maybe come back because he's not having a good time out in Porto? Maybe bring him back into the squad. I think he's got to come back. I don't think he's got yeah. a lot of choice. We, 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 need, we, need, we, need we can't. We can't go into. You know, we're going into this game. We've got a squad was thin anyway. Now it's paper thin. 